What I've got here, this very small black object, I don't know if you can see, that is a brain gate implant. So that's the size of it. This actually consists of 100 electrodes and this was fired into my nervous system. So literally plugged into my nervous system and via that we could link up to a computer and did a range of projects. One of them, I went to New York, to Columbia University. We plugged my nervous system into the internet via this device, the implant, which was in my nervous system. As I moved my hand, opened and closed my hand in New York, my neural signals were sent across the internet here to Reading in England, and the robot hand mimicked my own hand movements. So as I, if you like, as I open my hand, so the robot hand also moved. As I close my hand, the robot hand closed. But the, the robot hand has sensors in the fingertips, and we were able to send back signals from England to United States, dependent on how much force the fingers were applying. And what that did was to stimulate my nervous system. Literally, my brain received pulses of current. The more the hand gripped on an object, the more pulses of current my brain received. So what I was trying to do was to open and close my hand in New York just enough to grip onto an object so it didn't squeeze the object too much and didn't drop it. And that was very successful. I mean, really what it's saying is now, with the technology we have and networking and the power of the network, your brain and your body don't have to be in the same place. We, we've evolved that way, but that doesn't mean we have to stay that way. And as long as you can plug your nervous system into the network, and all it takes is a little, you know, this is so small I can hardly pick it up here. There we go, a, a little implant like that and that's, it's, it's not some enormous thing like Keanu Reeves had in The Matrix, it doesn't have to be that big, some little device like that is sufficient for you to be able to control hands for a surgeon, for example, a little device like that would mean the surgeon could operate on another a person remotely but also actually feel what they needed to feel. Their robot hand might be able to go into somebody's body and they would feel. So there's all sorts of possibilities. Clearly a lot of military applications as well. The soldier does not have to be on the battlefield, but they might have a few body parts that are on the battlefield. If they get destroyed, no big deal. The soldier is still okay. Might be a bit traumatic, but that's all. So I think lots of potential applications could even go to different planets. You stay at home nice and safe, but parts of your body, your technological body, get to go on trips to other planets. So do you still have any implants in the UK? Um, I don't have any implants that are functioning. I do have some platinum wires. When the, the surgeons took out the last input, some implant, um, some wires were left in there. Um, but the, so they've been there for quite a few years now and they, they keep popping up from time to time and I push them back in but they're not actually doing anything. So do, do you just forget to take that or was there a the, reason to leave them? When, when I had the implant, the main body of the implant was in my nervous system there and I then had these platinum wires running up my arm and they came out of my body here okay. onto a little connector pad. So what they did when they took the implant out was cut the wires, chuck this connector pad away, then pulled out as much as they could the, the implant itself from the other end, um, but the wires broke off and it was too much problem surgically to, to take them out. So I've had this bunch of wires in my arm for a few years now. But they're, they're platinum, and platinum is pretty inert. It's yeah. like things like titanium and iridium. There's a gold, even. Yeah. Body doesn't worry about it oh, okay. at all. So no, no, no problems at all. Just occasionally it sort of moves around. And so, I just so how long were you wearing the actual implants? I had just over three months. The yeah. implant, the last implant, was in my nervous system. But considering before I had the implant, the longest recorded 
uh, implant was was in a, a rabbit sciatic nerve for about 72 hours. So um, I broke the record, if you like.